Hello, and uh, welcome to the Eden Annual Conference 2021. It gives me enormous pleasure to welcome you to this event, which is nominally being held in Madrid, although in reality we're in the comfort of our own homes, which is a bit of a shame because it's uh, we have a nice balmy afternoon here. It's 21 degrees and really quite comfortable. And uh, I'd much rather see you here with a, with a glass of champagne or something equivalent in your hands than your... Um, your face is on my monitor, but uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. Um, yes, as I said, welcome to the conference. I think it's going to be a very, very um, interesting and engaged uh, conference this year. We've had uh, the highest numbers ever, which I think is a is a reflection really of the of the of the subject matter of the conference. It's been a, a difficult, should we say, challenging year for all of us with uh, with the pandemic. I think that's directly um, affected most of us, and, and uh, it's something we tried to capture in the um, in the title and uh, subject area of the conference. And uh, I think over the next uh, few days, it's going to be really very interesting listening to our colleagues and, and sharing our experiences um, through this uh, period of time. So, without more to do, as I say, welcome. I hope you have a, a very positive and enjoyable time. And I'll, I'll hand over to to Sandra, the president, to to welcome you as well. Thank you, Tim. I really do need a glass of champagne, whether online or, or in face-to-face. -face. Um, so, hello, everyone. Welcome to one more Eden Annual Conference, uh, unfortunately online, but maybe this enabled us to uh, be uh, jointly uh, in, a more, uh, in a higher number than maybe we could get uh, 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 when face to face, I was definitely planning to go to Madrid to visit again the Museum Bar Tyson Baromitsa, which is really something special for for me. But well, um, I'll have take I should take advantage of that next time, Tim. So maybe another uh, conference uh, should be um, in in Madrid. You know, because. Uh, you know what they say, when you are present in person, it, it counts much more than online. But nevertheless, definitely, uh, we, have, we have proved uh, that being present online uh, is just as good as face-to-face. Uh, -face. We can contribute, uh, definitely. We can discuss, uh, we can share, we can uh, talk, uh, we can have some virtual tours uh, and see the cities and museums uh, but nevertheless, we are not there. We have seen that last year in Team Shara, but uh, definitely uh, we have uh, been able to organize one very good uh, conference again this year. I'm very thankful to UNED for hosting this uh, conference uh, and uh, for putting a uh, great effort to make it uh, really something special. The title of this year conference is Lessons from Pandemic for the Future Education. I think that in front of all of us uh, is a question how uh, we can take uh, advantage of, how can we integrate, how can we build upon uh, on, on the lessons we have learned so far and all the knowledge and expertise we have got so far. How can make it uh, better for all of us based on this uh, knowledge we have uh, received. And during three days, but this one, first one we can count as well, during four days, uh, you will be able um, to hear uh, your colleagues and, and their uh, papers, uh, their opinions, ideas, results, re research results, uh, case studies, uh, projects, what all what have been done uh, during this time uh, to make uh, our future better. Also, one of the question is why it is always everything so slowly in education? Why all these changes which somewhere are happening much faster are going so slowly in the education? Why we are not eager to take new things um, uh, much more quickly uh, than uh, in other uh, way, in other things uh, uh, as in ed education. Actually, definitely something takes time. Uh, so there's a reason why it's not happening so fast. But I'm certain that uh, during uh, this conference, you will uh, take home really good ideas, uh, good uh, know-how, which you can build upon uh, your further 
work, uh, your further research, your further way of teaching uh, or, or learning. And um, I'm very happy that uh, we have really high number of participants, as I said in the presentation report, 370 participants, 53 papers and uh, additional number of other contributions. Uh, I think that uh, in, the, in the beginning, uh, these numbers state uh, that this conference is going to be uh, really good. And um, not to take too much time, I uh, know that uh, it comes to the end of the day and it will be definitely very nice to have the champagne somewhere in Madrid uh, in the... In the uh, when sun is uh, going down uh, on the horizon and chatting with the colleagues and friends, uh, being happy to meet them again. But uh, we have to think about, we have to imagine this, and I'm certain that we will be able to do that. So, uh, team, let's say that we officially open the this year annual conference, uh, Eden 2021, uh, the and we celebrate 30 years of Eden uh, as well with these activities. So I'm very happy that uh, we have started uh, our conference uh, now. Um, for the next uh, item on our agenda, uh, as all we definitely now have took some sip of champagne, and so it's easy, relaxing. Uh, we have presentation of Eden Senior Fellows and Fellows Award. A uh, very important uh, thing uh, for Eden, as we will, we always uh, cherish our members. We always want to acknowledge their excellence, uh, and it is very important that we recognize uh, their efforts and their work uh, within Eden Association. So, I kindly ask Secretariat if we do have a slide or something to share. Otherwise, I will just pronounce uh, pronounce uh, the uh, awards. Okay, maybe we do not have uh, uh, anything uh, uh, in slides. Okay, so um, this year uh, we have uh, Eden Fellows and Eden uh, Senior Fellows Award, which have been uh, uh, agreed uh, with Eden Executive Committee. And I'm very happy to say uh, that uh, this is the uh, first I will going to present Eden Senior Fellows. Um, these awards are a system of professional acknowledgement and they took the first place, uh, first time but they were held in 2007 in annual conference in Naples. Uh, so from that till today, over 100 fellows and senior fellows awards have been granted by decision of Eden Executive Committee. So really impressing uh, number. Uh, so in 2021 annual conference, uh, this is really nice occasion to present uh, the award. So Eden Senior Fellow Awards are given in recognition of contribution to development of open distance and e-learning Europe and for valued commitment and support to evolution and progress of Eden. So uh, these are uh, Eden Senior Fellows for 2021. I will start from Tim, um, because he's nearest to me now. <laughs> Uh, Eden, uh, our host uh, at uh, UNED, um, from UNED uh, at this year conference, but also the Eden uh, Vice President for Open Professional Collaboration. And uh, I would say my right hand, uh, I have three right hands because I have three Vice Presidents. Tim is Senior Lecturer in the Department of Computer Languages and Systems at UNED. He did the first degree in real-time computer science at the University of the West of England and his doctorate in cognitive science at the University of Birmingham. After leaving England, he has worked at the University of Granada before moving to ENED in Madrid. He's co-founder of the Atlas Research Group and has directed several national and international 
funded projects on applying information and communication technologies to languages for specific purposes. The team is currently working in the areas of mobile assistant, language learning and language massive open online courses and the role of analytics uh, in these areas. Team has also been a member of diverse scientific committees as well uh, as his academic career. He has worked in different international companies uh, as well. As Eden Vice President for Open Professional Collaboration, he team has been providing valuable support to identifying and implementing the potentials and opportunities for development of Eden organization and the international interinstitutional cooperation, strengthening the outreach and impact of association, improving the efficiency and governance. So team, thank you for being with Eden uh, and for all your efforts so far. It means I, I expect you to work even harder after this. Thank you very much, uh, Sandra. It's a, it's a great honor to be part of uh of this uh, select group and to, to carry on being able to work closer with my colleagues and, and friends in, in Eden. It really is a great honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. And now uh, the second uh, person who has received the Eden uh, Senior Fellow Award, my dear colleague, Diana Andone from University Polytechnic of uh, Timisoara, Romania, uh, also Eden Vice President for Collaboration. Um, my second right hand uh, so far. So um, Diana is director of the e-learning center of Polytechnica University of Timisoara, responsible for planning and implementing digital technologies, online learning technologies, and the university award-winning virtual campus. She's also associate professor at the Polytechnica University of Timisoara in the area of multimedia, interactive, and web technologies. Diana holds a PhD in designing e-learning spaces um, uh, for digital students with Brighton University UK. Author, she's author of 17 books, 100 research papers, 11 best paper award and earmarks, over 30 research and educational projects, mainly founded by European Commission. She's passionate about ubiquitous access to technologies and how they can be used to improve people's life. Actively promotes the US OER MOOCs and the open education principles. Acting in several international associations, actively supports the startup movements and girls in tech, women in tech and STEM education. She also acts in the board of Romanian NGOs in Timisoara, 2021 European Capital, Capital of Culture Task Force. She, as I said, is Vice President for Communication and Communities and Education Chair in IEEE Romania section. She has been the engine of modernization of the communication of the association in both applying cutting edge technologies and building up contemporary system of information flows. During the decades of affiliation to Eden in different roles and capacity, she has enriched our conferences by countless papers, workshops, webinars, courses. And as the host of Eden webinar series during COVID period and the first Eden virtual annual conference with background of her university, she helped lay down the basic of the new culture for Eden in online in virtual events organization. So Diana, Thank you for being with us, and I hope you will stay uh, for many years uh, ahead, in, ahead. Do you want to thank say you. a few words? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Sandra, and thank you, Eden and European Community, for uh, giving me the, this award. I'm really humbled by, by this achievement. I need to say my first Eden meeting was in '96. So it's a long time since uh, since I was with Eden and the conferences and uh, from Budapest, Granada and all over the Europe. In fact, I need to thank Antonio, Irina and Sandra, the three presidents which I served as executive committee and as a vice president, especially with the last two, and the entire uh, executive committee and fellows and NAP. Uh, committee, which uh, was very supportive to all the crazy actions, if I can say that, and ideas which I've thrown into the air and they catch the balls with uh, the tremendous support of the Secretariat, which was really great. And I'm really happy 
that I was able to do this. And I will be around Eden for longer, so you haven't got rid of me. Uh, this is only an encouragement. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you again. Thank you, Diana. Of course, we count on you in the future, so we, I hope you will be there for us. And the last Eden Senior Fellow Award for this year goes to Ulf Daniel, Daniel Ellers from Baden-Württemberg Corporate State University in Germany, who is also the keynote at this Eden Annual Conference uh, and really good friend for a number of years. Ulf is learning innovation expert, founder of Mindful Learners uh, Net and professor for educational management and lifelong learning and Baden-Württemberg Corporate State University in Karlsruhe since 2019. At the University of Biel Bielfeld, uh, he finished his PhD in technology enhanced learning in 2003. His habitation was awarded in 2008 from the University of Duisburg-Essen. From 2011 to 2017, he held the position of vice president at the same university and has been responsible for quality and academic affairs. He also held position as associate, associate professor of different German universities and associate professor of the Graduate School for Management of the University of Maryland University College in USA. Ulf is author or editor of more than 15 books and 150 scholarly articles with over 3,000 academic citation. He's trained coach, facilitator, and expert for mindful, mindful communication. In Eden, he holds the fellow degree for as long as 2003, and the member, he's member of the executive committee since 2018. He's keynote and author of several papers, leaders of, uh, leader of the workshop at the conferences. Ulf has been active around European innovation and movements in learning, in particular related to the quality. He serves for years as vice president of EuroASA, the European Association of Institutions in Higher Education. In Eden, his recent contributions and in initiatives help substantially the structured strategy building and think tank foresight activities, paving the ways toward the next generation of progress of Eden. So Ulf, thank you for all your contributions so far. And I'm also very happy that you have been reelecting for the next three years in the Eden Executive Committee. So lots of work is in front of us. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. I feel really honored and it's meaning a lot to me. Thank you very much. I'm also, I'm turning 50 this year, and I think that's uh, why senior is a, is a good title. <laughs> I understand now the meaning of it. <laughs> Thank well, you very much. You are, you are still a young boy for me. I have passed 50. So, uh, well, I, I'm very happy to have young colleagues in the executive committee. <laughs> so, uh, my congratulations to Eden Senior Fellows 2021 again. And let's move now to the Eden Fellow uh, Awards. Uh, we have a number of Eden Fellow Awards this year, five uh, in total. And Eden Fellow is war Award is an expression of appreciation of professional merit to Eden members who have demonstrated excellence in professional practice of open distance and e-learning and provided valuable support to the evolution and progress of Eden. Um, well, let me start uh, first. Uh, first is, well, I, I know she's called Mayred, but her sir, her name is very difficult for me to pronounce, but Mayred Nick Giola Mitchell, if I said it correctly, please don't be angry uh, with me. So Mayred is coming from Dublin City University in Ireland. She's Associate Professor and Senior Research Fellow. Uh, at their national institution, uh, National Institute of Digital Learning, and she's researching uh, digital innovation and implementation in higher education. She is the institutional lead on micro credentials and has conducted the first national micro credential survey of employers and employees in Ireland. 
She serves on the National Steering Committee to develop and implement a national approach to the development and delivery of micro-credentials with other sectoral stakeholders. She is Fulbright Scholar with the University of Notre Dame in USA and lectures in information technology in the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences in DCU. Mayred is co-editor-in-chief of the International Journal of Education, Technology and Higher Education and on the board of ALT-J and is an active reviewer for a number of journals. Formerly the Associate Dean of the Teaching and Learning in the Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, she has served on numerous European and national policy groups in the area of ICT and higher education as well. Merit has gained considerable experience managing and leading internal and external policy and research projects and was appointed as University Fellow in 2008 in the implementation of academic framework for innovation within DCU. Contributor to several Eden webinars, author of several conference papers and played important role in introducing her students to the Eden community. A Genoa annual conference, her student received the Young Scholar Award. I'm very happy, Merit, to have you uh, in the Eden Fellows this year. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Sandra. Gurmila Mahagut, Augustal Board, or Father of Eden. Big, big thank you and to all of the Eden Board and to the Eden community. Obviously, no woman or man is an island, and I have real great appreciation to the team that I work with in the National Institute of Digital Learning. Big shout out to my mentor there, Professor Mark Brown, um, and to all my colleagues, because I think this is just a reflection of all the work that we do in the National Institute of Digital Learning in DCU. So, Mila Gwechus, Agus Gurmagas. Thank you, Mered. Um, your, your, Irish, uh, your Irish is very good. I cannot repeat on Irish anything, but uh, well, uh, thank you. Uh, okay, so the next, the next uh, fellow, is Giselle Ferreira from Pontifical Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Uh, she is lecturer there, and she worked earlier as associate professor at the <coughs> sorry Universidade Estacial de Sa Alec as lecturer in the postgraduate program in education. She was faculty member of the Open University UK as visiting research fellow and lecturer. Department of Communication and Systems. She studied at the University of York and at the Open University and the Pontific Pontificia Universitate Católica de Rio de Janeiro. Giselle uh, has been one of the most active members of Eurodl editorial board. In the last years, she revised over 20 papers providing always high commitment, reliability, providing valuable guidance for the authors. She also contributed to several EDEM conferences as author. So my congratulations to Giselle. I know she isn't uh, there to, with us today because she, has, uh, she had uh, other important uh, tasks, but uh, my congr our congratulations uh, to her. The next uh, fellow, is um, our dear colleague, Elena uh, Caldirola from University of Pavia, Italy, who is already Eden Executive Committee member. She's director of e-learning center of the University of Pavia uh, since 2010. And she has a master's degree in political science and postgraduate special specialization in e-learning management and digital communication. She's skilled in the e-learning environment, MOOCs, learning spaces, blended learning, digital corporate training, and online learning. Since, since 2009, she takes part in e-learning task force of Coimbra Group. From 2013 to 2015, she was chair of the e-learning task force. And recently as well, she is a member of Education uh, Innovation Group. Since 2012, she is member of the scientific board of the Italian e-learning society. Since, two, since 2018, she takes part in executive board of Eden, and she's contributor to several Eden webinars as speaker. She is member of four Eden conference committee committees and author of conference paper. Uh, Elena has led one of the uh, strategic Eden activities about Eden future, and. Uh, 
also with uh, Ulf. Uh, and also she, by her initiative, Eden was invited to contribute to pro Project Child Central Asia on improvement of children care teaching as a template for upgrading uh, medical education in Central Asia as Eden is joined, has joined as associate partners. So Elena, congratulations. Thank you very much, uh, Sandra, and thank you very much to all the whole Eden family, because uh, I just consider Eden as a great family. I learned a lot, and I um, really hope to give my best contribution, both as a Eden uh, SE member and uh, as a fellow. Um, I found this environment, if I can say, uh, like just, like um, as a uh, a just band team because uh, I found uh, a set of rules, uh, a framework, uh, a, a very great organization. But in this organization, there is such an inclusive approach, and the people in this way can really do and offer the best. So I really think uh, my feeling is uh, to continue in this way. Thank you very much for what I have learned, and I really think. Uh, to be able to do uh, the best efforts for the success of this organization, both Adam and Fabio. Thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you very much to all the Eden people. Thank you, Elena. It's always a pleasure to work with you. So let's move on. Uh, the next Eden fellow is coming from Universitat Oberta de Catalunya. It's Teresa Romeu. She works currently at the Psychology and Educational Sciences Studies uh, there, and she does research in higher education, e-learning, and adult education. Their important current projects are Horizon 2020, demonstration of the scalable and cost-effective cloud-based digital learning infrastructure through certification of digital competencies, and the Erasmus Plus expertise best practices in teaching in 21st century and the digital literacy and social emotional learning for engagement and employment. Teresa has been author of high number of Eden conference papers and finalist in the best research paper competition. She has provided valuable support to the organization of uh, to, uh, 2018 Barcelona Eden research uh, workshop. So, uh, Teresa, welcome to the Eden Family Fellows. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, the uh, the Lagaves, uh, colleagues, and uh, people who are watching us uh, for the streaming. Uh, for me, it's uh, an, an honor and a pride to recite uh, the Eden Fellow nomination. Uh, yes, uh, my international career in Eden context began in 2006. Since then, I have participated in different events, uh, conference and workshop that Eden uh, has been organizing during these years. Um, in 2018, we were nominated for the best research paper, yes, award during the, the 10th Eden research workshop. Uh, my other colleagues and I are researchers in the EduLab research group at WOC. Uh, as a researcher and also as a professor at Open University of Catalonia, uh, I'm very proud and satisfied uh, with this nomination. Uh, and from now on, I will contribute to online teaching and learning uh, at, my, at my university and we will continue to share the results with uh, Eden. Happy 30th birthday. Thank you very much. All the best for all and best regards from Barcelona. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Teresa. Congratulations again. And last but not least, Dr. Daniel Dominguez. Well, you have to wait because we have four ladies before, so, uh, so you are now uh, on, in the road. So uh, Daniel uh, Dominguez is professor and researcher at UNED. His research focuses on technological medi mediation and theories that support digital learning and online socialization. In his recent work, he has developed, he has delved into analysis of social learning, open educational resources and knowledge management in digital and mixed environment. Currently, he is a board of directors of at Cyber Practices. 
He has been author of several Eden Conference papers and a member of the Madrid Conver Conference Committee. He is also he also uh, uh, supported the PhD symposium, symposium uh, and uh, he will join us in the panel of the experts uh, there. Uh, I know he was busy this morning, uh, but uh, Daniel, uh, congratulations. Well, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity. Uh, it would be a pleasure for me to contribute to this project. It is uh, for sure a major player in the field of e-learning and digital education in general. So uh, thank you for having me on board as a fellow and can't wait to start collaborating with the rest of my colleagues and with all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel. I'm certain we'll uh, see each other in the next Eden activities. Uh, definitely during this conference, uh, I know you're on the board. Uh, uh, so definitely uh, this day as well. So my congratulations to all Eden fellows and senior fellows. Uh, I'm happy that our family is growing, uh, that we have um, uh, managed to have this culture of sharing uh, of knowledge and expertise and awarding uh, the, those uh, uh, who are best of, uh, of us. And uh, now I am giving back the word uh, to Tim. Well, after such long talk, uh, and uh, I have been speaking really a lot, uh, Tim, you, you are able now to say a few words again. Thank you very much, Sandra. I'd just like to um, reiterate what everyone's been saying in the chat to congratulations to everyone. It's a wonderful feeling. And um, I really look forward to the working with you or continuing to work with the people I'm working with at the moment and uh, work with the, uh, the new people who've, uh, who've joined. So, I mean, I really wish I were able to say this to you with a nice table of, uh, of food and drink ahead. So uh, you'd be looking at the table and thinking, God, why doesn't he shut up so we can, we can indulge? I'm afraid I can't give you that. But uh, I'll still nonetheless try to be as brief as possible. I mean, what I'd like to do next is, is briefly um, present my two colleagues, the rapporteurs for this um, conference, uh, Cobodongo Rodrigo and Mark Brown. And uh, before I, uh, I hand over to them to, to give us a bit of a, an anticipation of, uh, of what they hope to see in this conference, let me uh, very briefly uh, present them. So, I mean, Cobodongo Rodrigo is uh, an Eden Fellow. She's the ex-Pro Vice-Chancellor of uh, Technology at UNED, was the founding chair of the Digital Inclusion Laboratory, which was co-founded by Vodafone in Spain, the sub-director of Transfer Research and Innovation of the School of Computer Engineering at um, UNED, and co-director of the co-director of the InnoDoc Research Group of Innovative User Interaction to Accessible Digital Objects and Collections. She's also the member of the advisory board of um, disability uh, care at UNED, a co-director co co of Empower, the working group um, institution support of ICT media and educational support services of the EADTU, and an auditor of e-excellence quality assurance in e-learning and, and MOOC. And Mark, Mike Brown, he's Eden Fellow and treasurer. He's Ireland's, he holds Ireland's first chair of digital learning and is the director of the National Institute for Digital Learning at uh, DCU at uh, Dublin City University. He serves on several international journal editorial boards and has published extensively in the areas of online blended and digital learning. And I've written, I read quite a bit of what he's written and it's, it's actually not that bad. Um, he was president of the New Zealand Association for Open, Flexible and Dist Distance Learning, um, DNS, prior to his arrival at DCU and was until recently treasurer and executive committee member of the Australian Society for Computers and Learning in Tertiary um, Education. He's a recipient of a national award for sustained excellence in tertiary teaching and remains a member of the New Zealand Academy of uh, Tertiary Teaching Excellence. And finally, he currently chairs the Innovation in Teaching and Learning Steering Committee for the European Commission of Innovation and Innovative Universities, ECIU. Well, thank you very much um, to both of you. So I'd like you to, to let us know how you're going to go about uh, being the repertoires at uh, this year's um, Eden Conference. Okay, um, sure. 
Should I start? Okay, thank you very much, Tim, for the nice int introduction. It's a great honor uh, for me to be here today, and I feel humbled to uh, participate in this uh, new edition as a co reporter. So um, I believe that the pandemic has brought not only bad things, but also good things to our lives and, and this sector. And uh, I think it has highlighted the different learning modalities and the support that the technology can offer to this new uh, learning paradigm. So um, nowadays, I think uh, uh, e-learning is uh, achieving broader scopes and up to date, you know, these hybrid modes are not really new. So they are more on a systematist uh, use of with uh, new technological tools. And there is an emphasis on this video uh, based campuses and new tools based on artificial intelligence that, you know, they, they could help us to, to achieve more personalized and more engaging and perform a better, more accurate assessment of our students' performance and interaction. So um, uh, the other lying danger is that we might lose uh, the leadership of this trend. So I hope not, and I'm sure that all of the papers included in this conference program are top 10 in uh, all the areas and will show the added value that the research and the demonstrable expertise, uh, you know, with the, the, this network of people uh, and the high level of research uh, uh, groups that are involved in the, in the conference. So I wish you all a week of uh, fruitful uh, exchanges. Um, with this virtual presenciality. So I promise that I will be there, uh, you know, with you in all the sessions and try to do my best to narrate your main achievements and results. So thank you, Tim, for the opportunity of uh, developing this uh, new job for me. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, Tim, after that uh, embarrassing introduction, I'm going to have to do a pretty good job in trying to weave together or tease apart all of the different conversations that are going to take place over the next few days. Um, because it is Eden's 30th year, I couldn't help but take myself back to, I wonder what the conference was like 30 years ago. I have, I, I did search to see if I could find a program. Someone must have been at that conference. I, I certainly wasn't. Um, and I was looking at this year's program. Um, it starts off tomorrow with a, a presentation, a keynote, Back to the Future. Of course, the film Back to the Future dates from 1985, so even more than 30 years ago. But some of us are old enough to remember those times. And then speaking of um, old uh, times in a, in a really nice light, I can't think of anyone better tomorrow than Diana Lorillard in terms of her contribution over the 30-year period um, to the field. It was, I think, 1993, if I recall correctly, that she first published the conversational framework in, the, in a seminal book that went on to be republished. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from Diana. When you look at the program, and I've, I've tried to sort of glance through what I'm going to be able to, to participate in because I can't be in all the sessions. I'm hoping that I'll be able to dabble with some of the recorded uh, video over the next few days. Some themes I think would have been there back 30 years ago, but actually the vast majority are new. Um, and we tend to think that the more things change, the more things stay the same. I'm not sure that's entirely true. For example, learning analytics, artificial intelligence, micro-credentials, they're all on the program tomorrow, uh, wellness, uh, digital ecosystems, the concept of an ecosystem, I don't think was something we were talking about 30 years ago. And then there's even on the final day, if I uh, check the program correctly, a focus on creative industries. So showing how the field has moved both horizontally as well as vertically, if you like. Um, some things, though, given I said don't always change, uh, assessment shows up. And 30 years ago, we were putting students into large examination halls, getting them to write with their pens for three hours. Prior to COVID coming along, we were still doing that. I wonder if in the shadow of COVID, and there's a very strong 
theme around resilience that I've seen in, in a number of the papers and, and strands. I wonder if that's something we're going to challenge over the next few days, along with some other sacred cows from um, over the last 30 years. So I'm looking forward to the program. Um, I note that there are many different nationalities represented, quite a few outside of Europe, given that I, my own background, as you heard in the introduction, is from outside of Europe originally. Maybe I'll one day be seen as more of a local. And I'm also looking forward, given the announcement of the Eden Fellows, the Senior Fellows and Fellows, and congratulations to everyone. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's meeting where we welcome uh, the new Fellows, but also plan for, well, not the next 30 years, but at least we hope to help us, I know it's a bit of a cliche now, but to build back better um, and the way in which we can contribute to a more fit for purpose, a more future focused education system post pandemic. So I'll stop on that note. And hopefully when I report at the end with my colleague, we'll have some very interesting observations and something quite tangible to contribute back. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Corbin, and thank you very much, Mark. I think you've uh, set our expectations quite high for your, your feedback in the final session, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> I'll let you know if you develop those expectations when we, when we get there. So I think um, it's a, a good time to draw this to an end. As, uh, as Mark said, I mean, you mentioned our first two uh, keynotes tomorrow morning. We have the inauguration at, uh, at 9, and the, uh, the keynotes will probably kick off about um, 9.30 with uh, Frances Pedro and, and Daya um, Loriland. So I think that's going to be a very interesting start to the uh, the uh, the conference. I, I hope you thoroughly enjoy it, and um, I hope you enjoy also going and having a a drink or two tonight in preparation for the conference. But please, whatever you do, don't send me your bar tabs. Okay, thanks very much. So that's it. Have a have a pleasant evening. I look forward to uh, to being with you tomorrow morning. Thanks a lot. Bye now.